Yes. Brittany April is Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month and Winnebago County held its 17th annual Hands Around the Courthouse event at the Criminal Justice Center. We even heard words from a survivor who escaped the abuse and became a police officer to save other young boys from the trauma of his past. I hope this will influence at least one, if not many children that feel helpless and hopeless like I did when I was a child. However, there is hope and there's still light at the end of the tunnel. Officer Nate Fay is a survivor of child abuse. His former judge, Jennifer Clifford, says he's more like a son and she's proud of him for his bravery to share his testimony. Somehow he had the strength and inner strength to make it and then to want to change lives. And I said to him, if you decide to ever talk about what you do, you can change lives. And I think that's what he's doing now. 17 years later, he's ready to start telling his story and hopefully help others. Officer Fay now makes it his duty to help prevent other children, especially young boys, from going through the trauma he once faced. And uh, so I wanted to do the same. I wanted to save somebody's life. The 17th annual Hands Around the Courthouse event was held in honor of Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month. The executive director of Children's Safe Harbor says it's important to keep children safe. Family Violence Coordinating Council found it fitting to let stand as a community hold together a blue ribbon and plant pinwheels in the garden to remind our community to be hopeful, report child abuse and take a stance against abusing children. Members of the community gather to celebrate survivors. And we're all going to gather around the courthouse just to show solidarity for, for all those that have experienced abuse and neglect. And as you relate that back to child abuse, you think of physical abuse, sexual assault, but most of the cases in Winnebago County are actually neglect. They're in tough situations that involve domestic violence, other family violence. Community leaders are urging the public to report child abuse and neglect as soon as they see the signs. So if you have that one person, never stop asking, never stop caring, don't give up, but continue to be that pillar for that person. And if you know anyone experiencing child abuse and you want to report it anonymously, please call 1-800-25-ABUSE. For 13 News, I'm Chanel White. Chanel, thank you. New at six tonight, it's been almost a year since we shared the story of Joseph Beard, a Rockton man.